morning and welcome to another Moments with Mike. Uh, this is a week leading up to Easter, the week that in most of Christianity is referred to as Holy Week. And I want to read some verses to you today. Um, and I want you to be thinking about this. Uh, how do you find directions? Well, listen to these verses from Luke 22. The day of unleavened bread had come and the day of Passover was being butchered and Jesus sent Peter and John off saying, go and prepare the Passover for us so we can eat it together. And they said, well, where do you want us to do this? And he said, keep your eyes open as you enter the city. A man carrying a water jug will meet you. Follow him home. Then speak to the owner of the house and say to him, the teacher wants to know where's the guest room where I can eat the Passover meal with my disciples. And he will show you a spacious second story room swept and ready. Prepare the meal there. And listen to this. They left and they found everything just as Jesus told them. And they prepared the Passover meal. You know, today when we want directions, uh, we're pretty accustomed to just saying, just, just give me the address. Matter of fact, recently twice I've made purchases on uh, 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 Facebook Marketplace, and in both cases, uh, the person didn't tell me, you know, turn right at the stop sign and then a, you know, a half mile on the left or anything like that. No, they just gave the address, and, and that's kind of how we're accustomed to just give me the facts and I'll dial it in from there with Google Maps or with whatever. Well, you know, God doesn't always give us directions like that. Sometimes his direction comes like it did in Luke chapter 22. Jesus didn't just give them an address and say, go to 143 Main Street. No, he said, you'll meet a person carrying water and follow him. Now, that's a little weird, isn't it? You know, they don't know this guy, but Jesus says, follow him. And, um, and they do. And then it's not even that person that they talk to about the room for Passover. It's the owner of the house. Jesus gave some kind of weird detailed directions to say, here's what I want you to do. And you know, God works that way often in our life. It's not a simple address. Boom. Here's what it's going to be. No, it's more like step by step, do what I tell you to do in obedience and I'll get you where you need to go. As you follow God's direction, understand it's not always simple. Sometimes it's complicated, but God has a plan just like he had the plan for the death, the burial and the resurrection for our forgiveness. God bless you. Have a great Easter week.